Hey guys, it's me, Tom Plex here, back at you with another comic book unboxing. Now, if you look closely at me, you may notice something's a little bit different about me. I'm wearing glasses. Okay, for all intents and purposes, I really need to get this off. Oh. Yeah, this is a removable mask. And I dressed up for the occasion, although, oh, this is backwards. Yeah, whatever, I'll get used to it. All right, anyways, let us get to the new unboxing. Oh, hell no. Today, we've got... And future me, please blur the address stat so I don't forget this time. I'm already taken care of. Otherwise, it will not make for a good comedic effect as I've done it before. Um. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Okay, so we've got... I'm gonna hold it up to this side. Um, this is a new book I've got, as I mentioned last week. Uh, or, as I mentioned on my last video, believe it or not. I got a new book. It's... It is Dr. Fate Countdown to Mystery. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to finish this. And Why do I even try anymore? Uh, enough talk. Let's fight. The warrior said nothing, for his mouth was full. Then he swallowed. And then he spoke. Enough talk. Let's fight. Shakabui! Thank you, Kung Fu Panda, for the clip. Anyways, um, let's get into it. So, first off, and this is proprietary mail, so, eh, it's easy. There we go, end up. I got... Cardboard. Nah. All right, and let's finally see. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that looks so cool. God, just looking at this, all I'm hearing is is Pierce Brosnan. Oh my God, this looks so beautiful. I love it. I love it. And I mean, look at the cover art on this. That is awesome. Oh man, there's not really much dents on this. It's so beautiful. Oh, there's a little bit of a dent right here, but yeah, I can roll with it. And it's really beautiful. Um, let's see who it's by. It's by Steve Gerber. Interesting thing, the author who did this died before finishing the series, but his friends and family got together and actually finished the story for him with the, with the artists. And so, that's the entire series, which I am happy about, and I can't wait to read it. It looks beautiful. And, oh my god, the design on this is just gorgeous, and the first page is just like, it's a, it's amazing. It's just Dr. Fate. That is awesome. Oh man, no problems with the binding. That is always a good sign. Sign, we got some cover art in this. Awesome. Oh man, this is so cool. Very into the, into the weirdness of it all. I love it. And, oh, they even have an afterword talking about it. Steve Gerber, writer of the series and dozens of other classic comics, runs, wrote this message to me on June 26, 2007. He's gone now, but his works, his skewed visions, thankfully remain. Steve's, memory, uh, Steve's stories said, It's okay to be odd. Embrace being different. Ignore expectations. Fight when called for. Laugh in adversity. Perfection is dull and overrated, and heroism is almost never about hitting people. Sometimes heroism is about merely staying alive when staying alive seems damn near impossible. My life is diminished with him gone, but reading his work brings him back again as if he never left. I liked I think he'd like that. Gail Simone. That's nice. I love that. so sweet oh man now i now i feel sad I'm, now i'm feeling sad oh man but that was just so sweet all right um yeah i need to collect my, my thoughts here for a minute <clears throat> all right so let's see the description the helmet of fate has landed a 
from a disgraced psychiatrist, Kent Nelson, Kent Nelson, a, dis a distant relative and namesake of the original Dr. Fate, a man so far down on his luck he doesn't know what luck is. The transformative nature of the helmets gained grants him power he can't begin to comprehend. But what, but will they make Kent's self-destructive life better or even worse? Legendary Howard the Duck and Hard Time writer Steve Gerber's final comics work is a, is a masterly reinvention of one of the DC Universe's most intriguing characters, featuring armor by Justian, uh, Justiniano and Alden Wong, with additional contributions by writer Adam Beekman, uh, Adam Beacon, Mark Evanier, Martin Wade, Gail Simone, and others. Countdown to Mysteries of Fresh New Tank on the Classic Hero. Oh man, this looks beautiful. Oh man. Wow, I still can't get over, I still can't get over uh, how awesome this cover is. It's so beautiful. Yeah, and I'm probably going to get like some other Dr. Fate ones of the other version of Dr. Fate, but I love Kent Nelson's Dr. Fate. I haven't read him before, but I, but I know Pierce Brosnan's playing Kent Nelson's Dr. Fate in the Black Adam movie, and I'm hoping that Pierce Brosnan gets his own series as Dr. Fate or a movie because I love that, and if Warner Bro and Warner Brothers. I know you're busy, but if you ever need a contributor to write and direct the Marvel movie, not 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 the Marvel, the DC movies, then hit me up. You know, you know, your name on it. Call me. Don't don't call me on that one. That that's my grandmother. Don't, don't call me on that one. Don't ever use that one. I beg of you. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking through all of this and just skimming through some of the pages. And the first page shows uh, the Helmet of Fate crashing on Earth. And uh, there's this other book that's also called The Helmet of Fate, which I want to read. Um, and I'm trying to collect that one. But um, in the meantime, I'm going to be checking this out and and seeing more. See if I get into Dr. Fate, which most likely I will. And I don't know, probably check it out or see what else they've got out there. Because there aren't, there actually, believe it or not, are not many Dr. Fate graphic novels. And and you can only get them in, like, the single issues. I prefer to collect them in the, in the collected editions because it's so expensive to, like, get, like, the single issue ones. And I would do it digitally, but where's the fun of holding it in your hand, in my opinion? Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, hold on. I need to get out of my mask. Reloading! All right, uh, there we go. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And soon I'm going to be doing a review on on um, Countdown to Mystery whenever I finish this. Which will probably be today or tomorrow. And it will come out this Wednesday. But until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!